Welcome to Jot. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new Jot for iPhone application. And for those of you who might not know about Jot, we allow you to use your voice to capture quick notes, send email and text messages, set reminders and calendar appointments, and use a whole lot of the web services you love. Up until now, uh, all those services have been available only through our call-in service, uh, but now they're all on our new iPhone app. So let me just dive in and we'll show you what we've done. So for those of you familiar with the old application, you'll notice that the menu bar at the bottom has changed. Uh, now we have a place where all of your lists live, one single page where you can access all of your lists. Um, we've also got the ability to send jots to contacts, send jots to groups, and send jots to, uh, to jot links. And jot links are the web services that we've integrated with. And so from here you can, for instance, update your Facebook status, your Twitter status, uh, send to-do items to remember the milk, uh, or set a calendar appointment with, with Google Calendar, um, amongst a host of other things. So let me show you how setting an appointment would work. Meeting with John at 8 p.m. tomorrow. I just tap it, and you'll see I have three options here. I can either replay it, re-record it if I wanted to, or uh, just hit the Convert to Text button. If I hit the Convert to Text button, that'll get uploaded to Jot's servers, We'll transcribe it to text and place it in your Google Calendar um, just as if you had uh, typed it in there yourself. Um, and that will, of course, work with, with all of these Jot links. I'm gonna, just going to demonstrate a couple of other features on the new application. Uh, one is that you can now set reminders on the items in your list. So let's say I wanted to have a reminder to call Brent back. I'll dive in. You'll see this little reminder thing on the left here. I'll click that. Let's say I want to call him at... Uh, at 7. So I'll just do that, hit the save button, and then I'll get a reminder via email and text message um, when, uh, when that reminder comes up and I'll be able to call Brent. Um, you'll also see a, another feature that we've added to the list this time is that you can now send your list items to contacts, to groups, uh, or to a jot link. So I um, recommend that you try that out when you get a chance. So I'm going to go back to my to-do list and then back to all lists. And then, uh, and just quickly show you what you can do with contacts. So here, um, you can you can send jots to your contacts the same way that you could do on our call-in service. Um, but you use your iPhone native contacts. So if I wanted to send it to any random contact, um, I'd hit all contacts, choose the contact I want. And if I wanted to to pick a favorite, um, I can just add favorites to my list here by clicking this little plus icon, which would again give me access to those lists for groups. These are the groups that you'd have on, on jot.com. You set them up, and, uh, and when you touch uh, one of those options, um, it'll send you that same recording screen that you saw with Jot Links, uh, but will now allow you to record a message to your, uh, to your family, for instance, or to your entire team. And they would receive uh, a text message and an email with whatever update you left them. So that's the new functionality. Uh, we hope you enjoy, and um, you can check out, uh, you can, uh, first you need to go to jot.com and sign up for an account, and you get a free one-week trial, um, and then after that it's a pay-for service, but uh, we think it's worth it, our customers think it's worth it, and, uh, and we hope that you do too. Thanks a lot.